For this video we're going to be doing how to create vertical curves and then later on how to create a complex profile by the elements. So the first thing we're going to do is, and I'm going to expand this up a little bit. It's going to let me, there we go. Is when you get in here, you're going to go to Open Roads Profile Model. You can turn AccuDraw off for now. There's no reason for it to be on. So go to your Open Roads Modeling tab. Go to Geometry. Go to Curves. And then Curve Between Elements and do Para, uh, parabola between elements and click. Now all you're going to do well, is if you got anything selected go ahead and right click uh, and that will clear the selections. First thing you're going to do is you're going to click on your first segment which on mine will be the first two segment uh, lines on this profile. I'm going to click there, I'm going to click there See as I drag it out, it's going to show you how it's going to place the curve. You can go to the opposite side, it'll break it. But So as long as you stay down here, you'll be fine. First thing you're going to do is type in the curve length, which was 1200. And then just hit enter. Which is going to lock it into this curve. You're going to left click to place it. It's going to ask you, do you want to trim and extend either one side or either trim only, extend only, or both, or none. Um, so for this, you want both turned on. Click, and it's going to leave you a nice, smooth curve through your profile. <clears throat> for this, for the rest of these, you'll just repeat the steps that you just saw, and once you're done, we'll continue on to the next part of the video. Okay, so when you've done uh, finishing with steps, and putting in the rest of these uh, curves in, this is what you should end up with. Now you notice as I hover over them, hit escape to get out of the program real quick. Uh, as I'm hovering over them, each one is it's a still different segment. It's not all highlighting up like it's one line. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete. Uh, we're going to make a complex geometry inside the profile, basically so that way we've got a single uh, single continuous line here. It's going to act just like it did when we did the horizontal, but just follow along and you'll end up with a continuous profile. So what you're going to go to is make sure that, again, you're in Open Roads Modeling. You go to your Geometry tab. You go to the Vertical section. Complex Geometry and do Profile Complex by Elements, which is your first option. Once you're in here, Again, set your method to automatic. Doesn't matter what you put in here. The name is CRL. If you want, you can name it CRL vert, but we're just going to leave it as CRL. You're going to locate your first element, and again, just make sure that when you're looking at it, that arrow on the end of the line is pointing in the direction of the rest of the segments and not towards the other direction. Like, all right. Just make sure the arrow is pointing in the right direction. When you click, it's going to ask you if you accept the complex. Just left click again. And now when you hover over it, you'll notice that the entire line lights up. And you have a continuous profile. So what we're going to do for the rest of this video is create a surface a profile from the surface. Um, this is what we called it in uh, the old legacy programs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in this view, go to view control, two plans, uh, two views, plan and profile. So what this does is it opens up my secondary profile space. I go ahead and hit locate plan element, locate view, and it opens it up. Uh, so in order, you can just follow along for this video. Um, this is more for informational purposes than anything else. Uh, so I went ahead and created a new document. As you can tell up here, it's CRL2, not CRL. And this is my no profile built-in one. So in order to do this, I just go to uh, anywhere in the bottom view. I'm just going to click. I'm going to hover over the existing ground profile. I'm going to set as active. 
And that's it. That is how you create a active profile from the surface in ORD. Um, it really is just that easy. Um, that being said, that will be the end of this video. And I hope to see you in the new future.